So this is a 64-year-old male, uh, severe osteoarthritis in the lateral compartment, basically chronic effusions. They come and go, but I mean they basically stay around all the time. They just get worse at times than others. I'm going to try draining him, and sometimes at the, at, towards the end of the procedure, I may need to just push the fluid out. Just okay. Side, okay? Just help it drain it. So this is one of these massive effusions. Clip. So here's his lateral x-ray, which you can appreciate a uh, very large effusion separating the fat pads. And as per radiopedia, if there's a separation of more than 10 millimeters between the quadriceps fat pad and the prefemoral fat pad, that's indicative of an effusion. And also, you really can't make out most of the quad tendon. Uh, you can only really make out the very distal aspect of the quad tendon that's inserting on the patella, and that's anterior to the quadriceps fat pad. Here we are at 936, sagittal view. You can see how far... And again, in this massive effusion, you can appreciate how far up the suprapatella pouch goes. As I basically noted, it was about four or five inches above the superior pole of the patella, where you can see the superior extent of the suprapatella pouch. And again, here's this massive effusion. Now we're starting our aspiration. Again, this is obviously pretty easy to do. You don't need ultrasound to do your aspiration. Ultrasound comes in handy towards the end when you're trying to, when you're trying to get that last 20 or 30 cc's or so. I think ultrasound can help you uh, significantly. But here we are. Uh, you can see little bright dots kind of surrounding the needle, and that's indicative of fluid being drawn into the needle. Uh, so you don't have to look at your syringe to see that fluid is being drained. You could just look at your ultrasound picture. And here's with uh, pressure applied to the medial aspect of the suprapatella pouch. And here it is again. You can see how it's essentially enlarging that space significantly, making it much easier just to keep the needle within the black zone. Here's toward the end of the procedure where there's not much of that black space, and again, here's with pressure, and you can see how much of a difference it makes and how much easier it makes to get that needle into the black zone or again into the fluid. Here we are just looking again towards the end of the procedure where there's just it looks like there's a thin sliver of fluid, and we're applying pressure, and we basically doubled or tripled the size of that sliver, making it much easier to keep the needle within the black zone and allowing us to drain just about all the fluid. And also keeping the needle within the fluid obviously reduces pain. Whenever you get the needle stuck in synovitis, it does cause significant discomfort for the patient. So this last 20 or 30 cc's, I don't think we've really gotten if we didn't push or anything these ultrasound. And here's the end of the procedure. We're injecting cortisone in his knee, and essentially there's no significant effusion to dilute the cortisone.